but claps are always louder than I thought. Before we get started, I must say this video isn't sponsored by any studio. I just wanted to show you the reality of how big my desk actually is. That you don't have to get a big room if you want to get a desktop computer. It's goddamn drilling voices. So recently, my laptop died, which I think is around the 11th of June. After my partner suggested that I should get a desktop computer rather than getting a laptop and even listing out all the advantages of what I would get if I get a desktop computer, I finally decided to get a desktop computer for myself rather than lying to myself that I will never have space in this room. And after tons of research, well not really, I only research what I need. The, what I need to prepare to get a desktop computer. But hey, if you're living in Hong Kong like me, I really highly recommend this website, which is called Jumbo Computer Supplies. If you're like me who doesn't know much about computer components, Jumbo Computer Supplies have a bunch of selection according to your needs. And I chose one that I think would be suitable for me for making gaming videos, gaming in general, and maybe for future school assignments where it requires heavy 3D workload. It's been a few weeks, and so far I'm very satisfied with it. Look, I even recorded myself playing the final boss of Death Space Remake, because when I did it with my old, lap old laptop, the frame rate was dropping constantly, and it really ruins my experience and make it less epic than it was supposed to be. I, I can't aim. My aim is much better than this, but <laughs> this this game the the I I'm lagging a lot. So here I am beating the boss in my much smoother frame rate and testing out OBS settings to make sure it is ready for my future game recordings. If you can handle a big boy like this space remake, then I'm sure I can handle any other triple A games. With my desk this small which is around 70 centimeters of width. I had to measure out my workspace in order to know what size of monitor that I need. And in the end, I chose for an Asus monitor that is around 54 centimeters in size, which could fit on my desk. This is the Asus VA24DQLB 23.8 inch monitor. Yes, I am reading my receipts. <laughs> the refresh rate is around 75 hertz. I don't even need a 144 hertz. Like, I'm not even going to go for 4K video gaming anyway. For the PC, I chose the category, which is the AMD Ryzen 7 for gaming. And the website came up with a list of PC components for me to look at. I must say, the only thing that I regret is that I didn't spend extra money to get the delivery fee. I only gave extra fee for them to help me build up the PC because it's only a first time and I'm not confident. So for a few days, my muscles were sore from lifting this heavy, heavy object from one station to my home, which is around 37 of transportation and then 10 minutes more for walking. I'm okay now. Here's a list of the components I have inside my PC. There are a lot less RGB lights inside, which is good because I don't want to have too many lights inside my room, which really looks like I have a party alone. <laughs> the case is the famous Corsair 4000D Airflow. I really like the black case with some yellow bits in some areas. It just looks professional. Also, the CPU cooler looks really cool. It looks like it has an infinite tunnel inside. In total, I have spent, with my parent sponsor, around $10,000 for both the monitor and the PC, which is definitely much more cheaper than buying a laptop that has le maybe less than two hours of battery life when I'm doing heavy workload, like 3D renderings, rendering videos, doing game recordings, all these heavy workload stuff. Mike, any laptop can't handle more than two hours. And I have proof. I have done research for this, so then that is how I convinced myself, you know what, getting a desktop computer would be nice. i rather spend $10,000 building a PC where I could change the components inside anytime I want than buying a laptop that has less than two hours of battery life with unchangeable components inside. With that, I need to do more research on how to build a PC or else I need to bring the case back to the store and then go back to my home and risk hurting my muscles again. And here is the full look of my small, cheap workspace.
All right, great. I hope this inspires anyone who think they don't have the space for it. PC desktop computer. I mean, this big boy is much more bigger than I thought, so uh, it really is a big boy. <laughs> With this beefy bad boy. If you want a desktop computer, go for it. Don't waste time on a gaming laptop unless you travel a lot. Don't trust it when they say this laptop has eight hours of battery life. I can guarantee it cannot survive even for maybe three hours or so. Surprisingly, you can trust Apple. <laughs> Their battery life is true. Thank you for watching. This channel has become a vlog channel now. Unless I actually have other video ideas. Check out my series, Recursive Tale. The links in the description. And there are also links for the website called Jumbo Computer Supplies. Or maybe separate links where when you want to get some of my PC components. And it's also some artists that were, you know, featuring in some of my <laughs> workspace decorations. <laughs> They're really cute. And you should support them. Or maybe if you want this microphone. It's really nice. I'll see you. And goodbye.